pray this morning. And I'm trying to see. Before we get into the holiday, uh, where is Shalom? Mm. When I ask questions, and I say this all the time, I'm not talking to myself. I'm asking a question <coughs> to get a response. Uh, Shalom should be wherever you're at. Wherever you're at? Mm -hmm. So if you happen to be where the creator is, you'll have shalom. <laughs> Hold that thought. Anyone else? Because <coughs> it's going to go back to a question I asked. Many should possibly. Shalom is within you if you choose to seek it. Shalom is within you if you choose to seek it. Anyone else? That depends on how we speak of Shalom. There's a couple of definitions that I know of Shalom. Okay. One is, is peace, and one is being made complete. Okay. Uh, uh, so if you're talking about being made complete, that's a, that's a personal venture. If you're talking about peace, that could be surrounding or it can be within yourself. So Shalom, you say Shalom, that can have different aspects of where it can be or, or who it can be too. I mean, it's, it's to you or it's to the person you're speaking it to because when you're speaking to the person, you're telling them, you know, I hope that all is well with you. Mm -hmm. you, you you're restful and, and, and you made whole. Okay. That's, that's, that's supposed to be your intent if that's what you believe Shalom is. Okay. Uh, if, it's, if, if, if you look and you're speaking it to your household, then that's what you're looking for in your household and my household function as it's supposed to, which makes it complete and whole. So, so when you say, where is Shalom? Shalom could be everywhere. Everywhere you go. You almost confused me for a second. Oh, for a yeah. second. I, 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 I have a tendency to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I got you. I got you. Anyone else? Shalom is whatever you feel like peace can be. Explain. You have something that makes you feel a certain way and peaceful for you. So, what you're saying is, I'm using my words and how I heard what you said. Shalom is conditional. Because if it's whatever you feel it is, then if I take whatever you feel that shalom is from you away, then you're not longer at shalom. So it's conditional for you. I'll let you say again. You can have more than that. That was an example. So what is Shalom? You say whatever it is to me, and I just threw something back at you, so I want you to think about what you're saying. Peace. Peace. Think about it. Think about it. Just think about it. Anyone else? And I want everyone to take a little bit of what everyone else is saying. Because that's what we're here for, right? Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Shalom. I think shalom is when you wake up, life. Because at the end of the day, when you pass, I mean, I'm not saying that it ain't shalom, but it's like you don't know what happens when you pass. So I think when you wake up and breathe that prayer for life, I personally, I think that's shalom for me. So breathing. Yes, sir. That's shalom. Okay. Okay. So if I have labor breathing, is that still shalom? Life. I say life. Like I said, life. When you wake up, you breathe. You wake up from that sleep. That's shalom. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, back to little Dawood. You said wherever the creator is, right? Okay. So where? I don't know if I want to go there. Mm -hmm. Where is the creator not? <clears throat> if the prayer, one of the prayers I read this morning, before anything existed, before anything was, there was the creator. And then from came forth from the Creator with all things, correct? And I know Adonis would say, "Well, in things, it's the the blueprint. That's that's the word you use, Adonis. Signature. signature, signature, the signature of the Creator, right? So the sig. If you know me well, right, and if you tell me to sign something, and it's okay to sign for me, could you you will be able to tell the difference between my signature." So my signature is a representation of me. 
So psychologically, we make a difference between the signature and the, the source where the signature came from, psychologically. So going back to the point, where's the creator not? If what you're saying, well, it's your truth, but if what you're saying is true. Just think about it. Think about it. And I'm going to propose a thought that Shalom is. It exists. And, you know, throughout the week, what if Shalom exists, that would be like saying if y'all exist, right? Uh, kind of one of those things. If Shalom exists, this is just a pre preposition. You don't have to feed into anything I say. You don't have to believe anything I say. But if Shalom exists, it just is. So that means any form of separation from shalom or completeness, um, uh, mind, body, spirit, whatever the case may be, you created that separation <coughs> based on the busyness of your mind, the situation that you're going through, and how you, how you perceive the situation. So at the end of the day, if shalom is, Anything opposite or away or separation from that peaceful or complete state is something that you created for yourself. Which is which is why I said that shalom is with the creator. However, <clears throat> sometimes people become absent-minded, which they they separate themselves from the creator. So in that in that particular place where you are, mm -hmm. you have separated yourself from shalom. Because you've separated yourself from the Creator. He said that he keeps those who have a steadfast mind on heaven and perfect shalom. So if your mind is always with the Creator, then you will always have that shalom. But the moment that your mind gets away from the Creator and you focus on something else, you have just lost that shalom. So right. shalom is no longer there. Okay. So that, that's, that's what I mean with if shalom is where the Creator is, and if you're where the Creator is mentally, then you are where shalom is. But if you're not, then neither exists to you at all. So you create a false or an illusion of separation. You said the same thing I said. Which is perfect. Because it's showing that everybody needs to listen to everybody. Everyone needs to listen to everyone to get a perception. A perception of an individual or another person is a gift. And sometimes we, uh, we have a habit of and losing shalom over another person's perception. Iman. I was just going to say, shalom is always there. Okay. But you can choose to walk outside. <coughs> with that being said, that means the creator is always there. Speaking, reaching, talking to you, showing you signs. But in your going in or going out and coming in, you get filled with all these distractions. And that's what I'm trying to get back to the, your mind, your mental. If you can get quiet, these, 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 the noise in your head, if you can allow the receiving or the receptive mode, as some say, of what the Most High is trying to say to you or speak to you. So, okay. I don't know personal bubbles, but I have to sometimes. Uh, the earth is without ball and without call. It was chaotic. It was not the most high there. But when he came in, he said, I came to organize the stuff. But it was without thought. But I'm everywhere. I'm in all things. I do everything. So so this earth was here, chaotic and bought. But it was my earth still. Okay. But I came through and I and I, and I put it and I, and I organized things to do what I wanted to do. Okay. But it was still chaotic and without thought. So can you be cause so so in other words, when your life is chaotic and without thought, is he not still there? Well, again, chaotic and void. You made a good point. That was a good point. What is that? What is chaos? I'm not looking for an answer. It's just a question for a thought for this one. What is chaos? What is your understanding of chaos? I just said, I'm giving you a moment. Salah, think about it. What is chaos? So from that thought, whatever you have of what chaos is to you, then you would say, well, you have whatever you come up with to go with that. So going back to what you're saying, if, if there's chaos, isn't the most high there? Well, where's the chaos coming from for you? 
Where's it coming from from you? I, I, I said, where's it coming from from you? I was just going to reiterate, it's when you decide not to walk in Shalom. Mm. Most high, please do not let your ruach depart from me. Meditate on the creator day and night. What do these things mean to us? What is the practical application of these thoughts? As we go out and we come in, as we go from one Shabbat day to another Shabbat day, what's going on in between? What have you learned from your experiences? You are a unique, you are, you are a unique creation of the creator, an expression. What are you learning? So when Kazak shows up on Shabbat or any of the other Moreim or the Imams and, and Zokanim show up, what are you bringing to this 2019 version of a cultural experience? What are they going to be writing about you Hebrews in America a hundred years from now? Just thoughts. Just thoughts. Just things that, you know, like everyone to think about. Everybody follow me? And I lose you. But the thought is shalom. Shalom. What is shalom? Where is shalom? And if I'm not, if I don't have shalom right now, why is that? What is going on with me or in my life or, in, or uh, the most high place Tob and Rob before you? Meaning the process has already been put before you. You take the process and do as you will with it to manifest what's going on in your life. So, just, just think about it. If you don't have Shalom, why don't you have Shalom? What are you doing or not doing? And I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because uh, this week has been very interesting. There's a lot of things going on in the news and the media. It's kind of hard to stay away from it, even if you're not involved in social media. You know, um, you go to work, places of work, and you hear these conversations about, you know, whoever. And sometimes you get drawn into these conversations. You know, and everybody, everybody's uh, media is very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Suggestive. Everything is very suggestive. Everybody understand what I mean by that, right? Um, when you kind of away from certain things and you sit by and be an observer, you'll find that um, a lot more of us and when I say us, I'm just I'm not speaking about everybody in this room, I'm just speaking to people and people in general are swayed by a lot of things. And I had a conversation with my seafood this morning, and I think I spoke to uh, Maury Baruch about this uh, a couple uh, last week and the week before is don't let someone talk you out of your reality based on their belief. Okay. Who does not understand what that means? Don't let someone or something talk you out of your experiential reality based on their belief. There's a lot of people in here that believe a lot of things, subtle, big differences, and so on and so forth. And that's for each and every one of us. You understand? But at the end of the day, if you've experienced something, you know, some will call miracles. Oh, man, the most high. You know what happened in my life? Somebody like, okay, all right. You know, I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> you like, hey, maybe I'm wrong. Even though this happened to me, but he's saying it happened to him like this. Ah, maybe I should take on his. Don't let somebody's belief or their experiences talk you out of your reality, your truth. Because sometimes we've experienced, each, everybody has an experience and a story to tell on how they got to this place and this point. Okay? So sometimes that could take away your shalom as well. Just sell off on a lot of these things. Other than that, hallelujah. 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 Anyone has anything they want to share? Any hallelujahs? Anything that you've experienced um, throughout the week from last Shabbat, this Shabbat, something you might have forgot to mention last Shabbat that you want to just share? It's your experience. Your experience can give another person some encouragement. Not to say they'll experience the same thing, but it's encouragement. That's what we're here for. Seeing the brother hand up here first. Boom. Did you have your hand up? Okay. 
all praises to the most high Yah. Hallelujah. Um, yeah. yeah. um, um I want first of all I want to thank Maury Yikta and Maury uh the car for coming in. Uh, y'all don't know how much I watch Uzi Yale and DCB. Y'all just don't know. Hey, I watch it a lot. So, um, but yeah, total up about for y'all coming through, man. We appreciate it. Thank you. Um, second of all, I want to thank my, my Isha. You know, sometimes we kind of holler at it sometimes, so I don't listen. But, you know, sometimes uh, I just got to sit back and just humble myself. I just want to thank you for those things to get my mind clear back a little bit. So, all right. Um, and the next thing I want to thank, I want to thank the Yarkonites, Total Rabah, to you and mm -hmm. the Isha and the family, man. Total Rabah, man. I hope the most happy with y'all and be blessed, y'all. Um, as y'all know, uh, someone broke in my car a couple of weeks ago here and took my books. So they, the Yarkonites bought me another one. Oh, one of probably my best one. And this is how much important it is to me. If you go look at, he got the same book I have. And you look at his book, his book don't, I don't, I don't know man. Look, show him your book. His book is, you know, he's been through the war. You know what I'm saying? He's the reader. And he bought me one. He was gracious enough to bring me. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. to Yeshua and the people that really don't subscribe to Yeshua coming together and being on, on kind of a part of or Okay, together. so translation, those that may have a, a Messianic thought process and those that are Torah based cannot come together okay. and, and, and praise the one true creator of all existence okay. together. Okay. And that's exactly what has transpired since I've been here. Okay. And I want to thank Maury Baruch for, for being the leader that he is because we had conversation before me and my family came in, and there's always been an understanding that though there may be different schools of thought, that there's one power that created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that in, in the midst. And that Torah, that law is what's important, and that is what is to be taught. So this has been a man manifestation of, 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 of togetherness to Most High and doing what he's doing, as when we think about the book of Zephaniah in the second chapter, um, you know, that's one of those prophecies that we, we can apply to, to the present. Okay. Gather yourselves before that day comes. Okay. We already see the day coming. The Most High has his hand in this earth. He's doing things that this has people in awe. And so before he places his hand all the way back in the earth, full strength again, as he's done in the past, we have to, we have to play our portion. We have to put ourselves together in places so that he can do the rest. All we have to do is gather ourselves, and the Most High will take it from there. He just wants to see, you know, we constantly talk about unity. We talk about coming together. What is true unity? If we cannot see through our differences and look at the common denominator, which is the creator of the heaven and earth, seeing all that them is, we don't really understand what that shalom is. So I'm, I'm listening to this whole conversation, and this is what was already in my spirit. I'm like, you, 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 that's my shalom, okay. to oneness. With, with others, to be able to understand you think different than me, but we have something together, so we're going to show each other love, and we're going to let the Most High intensify that. And so that's that's what's going on, and I mean, I, I guess the chapters of my life, um, as, as we know, um, in the ninth month of last year, I, I made a half a century, and, and this beautiful house uh, recognized me. And that was my 
first 50, so right now I'm kind of I'm, I'm, I'm kind of uneasy because I, I need to know which direction the Creator wants me to continue walking. And so, with all that being said, the week after next, I'm going to make my first trip to, to Yisrael. And so, I mean, I'm just looking at all these things for me, and, and, and I pray that the Most High gives me the direction that I need to continue going because I, I know that this is a part of the puzzle. As I, as I take it back to when my Esau first brought me to this understanding, it's been, it's been a journey, and, and it's kind of like in sections. And like right now, it's a section that has not been connected to another one. And, I, and it's just, I'm looking forward to seeing what the Most High has on my plate so that I can play my individual portion at bringing this nation together. Amen. So that one individual and another individual and another individual makes a collective, and the Most High can see exactly what it is that those that are truly dedicated to him and want to make a difference can do. And that's, 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 what I, that's where I am. I really want to make a difference, and I'm one person, you know, I'm, I'm willing to make steps that other people are scared to make to, to unify the Most High's nation. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, It's interesting because, I put more in this again. because I'm, I'm thinking as far as uh, the, the, the cultural information that, that, that I know, and I'm sure there's a lot more than, than, than what I understand is that, you know, uh, modern day Israelites has a, this uh, idealism of how ancient Israel was. And it's funny that you say that because, you know, I was talking, again, I was talking to my seat this morning, I was like, it's things that I remember him trying to tell me that now I'm kind of like in that place. It's not to say that, you know, one, his thoughts was greater at the time and mine was diminished. It's just that I wasn't ready for those the certain levels of understanding. And a statement is, all of Israel was never as necessarily in the same place at the same time. You understand? I, uh, I thought I had when I was coming here, I was like, and I asked this before, is what is the one prophetic uh if you want to call it absolute of uh, the said curse that we all share, all Israel that we understand on the planet, there's one. God. Say again. There's one God. Okay. Everywhere will be scattered. Everywhere will be scattered. A little bit more. Something more solid. It's not. It's right. But I want something else. What is the one thing that we all share? You're in the right path. I'm looking for something else. Because I hear a lot of people saying, you know, in it now, but they keep missing something. I think the uh, the teacher that were here last 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 Shabbat or the previous week, they said something and I was just kind of pondering it about the curses. About the curses. About the curses. What about the curse that's true for all of Israel? I'm going to give you a, a clue. Okay, sis. Um, Jesus is Say it again. Law. Keeping his laws. Yeah, it's true. That's not what I'm looking for. It's true. I'm sure everybody's going to have a right answer, but not that answer. All right, so we know that there's going to be people appointed to what? There's going to be people appointed to what else? There's going to be people appointed to what else? Say again? Pestilence? Captivity. Captivity. Right. So did everybody experience, and when it comes to those things, did everybody experience the same thing? No. But there's one thing that we all experience. Say again? Pertain to the curse. The one thing that all of us experience is we no longer possess the land. That's we're no longer a nation. We right. We're no longer a nation of people. We how can I say it? What's a better way of saying it? We're no longer a sovereign nation of people. We're pockets and groups of, of, of people collecting a concept or idea of said culture. Everybody following me? So, 
getting back to what uh, the Queen was saying, the point that I'm trying to make is, since, actually before and after we were a nation, it's been different ideas and concepts of thought pertaining to the, pertaining to the same, the same, un, you know, I don't say understanding, but Torah, or instructions. Does everybody understand that? Does everybody know that? Yeah. Does everybody think that every Israelite was practicing the same thing in the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom? Then in the southern kingdom, it was exactly the same. For the Israelite, there was, there was a merchant wandering somewhere and trying to get back for the, the, the feast day. Is it exactly the same? Was it exactly the same? Do you know that? Do you know that or are you just saying, well, you got a good point. Nah, I'm just saying nah. I'm asking you, do you know that? I'll say this. There's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun? That's a paradoxical statement. For those of you who haven't been here for paradoxical statement, it means two things. A thing that you can say, and I can say something that seems that they don't, they're opposite of each other, but it can be reconciled. You can, we can say there's nothing new under the sun that, and at the same time, Kazaki today, I've never seen historically a cell phone. Were they cell phones back then? I don't know. But they were forms of communication. There's forms of communication. So you're right and you're wrong at the same time. Everybody understand what I'm saying? What a paradox is? Part of the interruption. Does everybody understand what I'm saying about a paradox? Nothing new under the sun. This is the worst it's ever been that we can look at historically, and this is the best it's ever been that we can look at historically. Just the, the earth, the period, the state of things. Anything else that you read, you're using your comprehension and understanding to say, oh no, it was like this. You weren't there. That's your interpretation on your vision of what it was. You weren't there. You don't know. You can say you know, but you don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking to my brother here because we, you know, we got this thing, you know. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, <coughs> he went outside, but um, that's one of those things that it's, 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 it's hard for a lot of people to understand that this moment right now, a lot of things are happening that are, are pretty, it's new for us. It's new for us. A lot of hands, a lot of hands, a lot of hands. Yeah, man. Well, <clears throat> I got you. Uh, which is why, I, to me, it's like we're focusing on, like as we're coming back, quote unquote, to, to form a, a, a sovereign nation, that we're focusing on the wrong, in terms of, like right now, we're trying to do this because this is wrong. He said, focus on capitalism. We're focusing on uh, uh, names. We're focusing on whether we're ZZ. We're focusing on how we're going to use the knowledge we. the nation as a war the uh, pockets of people that are coming okay. together to form this nation. We are focusing on different aspects of, of the ancient culture that from my understanding, we're not necessarily at the forefront of what we needed to stay that nation. Okay. The forefront of the, the, the most important issues were how we treated each other okay. and our working toward the creator. Okay. And <clears throat> both of those things are very, both of those things are very, um, they are expressed directly okay. as far as the instructions on how we are to Everything else is, like you said, you got your style, I don't have his style, mm -hmm. I have my style. Mm -hmm. So we're focusing on styles and trying to get everybody on the same style mm -hmm. instead of focusing on how we're gonna how we're gonna work together in order to produce something that he asked us to produce, which was to all amongst each other a, a, a proper version of that. So whatever that is. Whatever is expressed, that is what we trust. Everything else, which is why there should be no arguments if we are focusing on what is expressed. We have an argument based on things that are uh, private. Does that fall into the, the lines of the I understand. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but again, you, 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 you express opinion, you express fact, and 
you express paradox. The opinion, the fact is, yes, um, how we treat each other coincides with the creator. Because when you when you really get into it, you know, how can you love that which you do not see? You know, how can you not love that which you see and then say you love what you can't see? You following me? So that's an express, um, what's the word for that? It's connected, interconnected. The opinion part is, well, we're focused on this and we're focused on that. Let them who focus on whatever they focus on, focus on that. That's their business. And it's a purpose behind whatever they're focusing on. You understand what I'm saying? Because it gives you the opportunity to say, say, you know what, that's not what I want to do. That's not how I want to go. Everything is there for a reason. So that's an opinion. Um, I think all, it's my opinion, all are necessary. All are necessary. Um, we just have our opinions on which way we should go with that. Um, you should. Okay. Um, so I'd like to say hello, y'all. Hello, y'all. So I was um, having dialogue last night. Basically, um, I had a thought that I really wanted to get, like, you know, into the book, as we all should, like, regularly. And when I say get into the book, I mean read it, to take notes, to take, you know, let me try and skim through this or read it to the best of my ability and take notes as far as do this. It says do this, so I'm going to try and do this, right? To where, you know, if we can do it in America or if I can do it in my own current situation, say, for example, um, don't hate your brother in your heart. Like, okay, I can write that down and I can interpret it, you know, maybe break what the Hebrew says down and take notes and do that kind of thing. That, that was my mission starting, like, last night. And I had a few points. I only, like, really came up with five major points. But it was concerning everything that we were already talking about, basically about, you know, dealing right with each other or what's, um, how do you have a relationship with the most high? And it correlates with my answer when you asked the question earlier, you asked, um, uh, yeah, but I said, you were talking about peace. Where is peace and everything? I said, it's in you if you choose to seek it. So it's, uh, it's like 10 reasons I say that, you know what I'm saying, um, to kind of back up the statement. Because when the Most High kind of teaches us how to deal with each other in more ways than one, He teaches us how to communicate and express ourselves in more ways than one. One way would be, you know, He says, two witnesses establishes a matter. So in conversation with someone, you know, it's good to give examples of what you're saying. That's what they would call in like English literature, they would call that a premise. You give a thesis statement, you have a body paragraph, body paragraph, conclusion. And that's even what you could say Genesis is. It's like, introduction into everything and then it's by the paragraph until the end pretty much but just to tie all that in i know it's a lot of information that i'm trying to get out and make it sound like it makes sense but it's like he teaches us in more ways than one how to treat each other and he starts with you know um in genesis i mean it's real quick i'm gonna read like quick excerpts and then i'm tied all together so it makes sense right so in um this is chapter two it says um Okay, Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21 it says, And Jehovah caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which Jehovah had taken from the man he made into a woman, and he brought her into the man. And Adam said, This is not bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall man leave his mother and his father and be joined to his wife and she become one flesh. And we know that, you know, the man usually deals with the left side of the brain, the logic and the, you know, and, and intuition and stuff, stuff like that. And the right side is more emotional. It's more, you know, sympathy is more. And then when you come together, you're like one flesh, right? So when the most High punished them, when you go to chapter three, the serpent said what he said to the woman, the woman did what she did for the man, gave him the apple. And, you know, they was all punished, right? And they punished, he punished them, or he punished them. Serpent, because you did that first, and then woman, because you set him up, and now you're desirous to him. And, and the man was because you listened to her, because it said, for you hearken unto the voice of your wife, and y'all shall, you know, you shall toil and labor, and you're gonna work for what you need in the field, basically. So you have to have a oneness and a friendship together, because you both kind of, you know, disrespected and went against what I told you to do, right? So. We have to be one together. We have to have an understanding. When Cain slew Abel, right? Cain slew Abel, and Moses said, you know, before he did it, if you do not, if you do evil, then sin crouches at the door. But if you do good, then you should be rewarded. 
Abel did a good thing and Cain was jealous and he killed him. So he's telling you, okay, you're being punished for your jealousy, you're being punished for killing someone. It says in Genesis also, you know, a man who takes the life of another man, you know, it's, it's a sin because he was made in the image of the Most High. Um, and that's deep because if we're, Most High has an intention for all of us. He has an intention for you, 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 everybody. And we were his original creation. So you took that off the face of the earth, everything is intended for him. And one last thing in Malachi even says, uh, Malachi chapter 2, verse 16. I'm going to flip to that in like two seconds. I'm going to be out of here. And I'm going to try to talk together. Malachi 2, verse 16 says, For Yehovah, Elohim of Israel, that hates divorce, for it covers one's garment with violence, says Yehovah of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that you do not treacherously. So it's kind of a petty. Yeah, that's better. You do that. I'm going to read it. Um, for Yehovah of Israel says that he hates divorce, for it covers one's garment with violence, says Yehovah of hosts. Therefore, take heed to your spirit that you deal not treacherously. Treacherously, right? That's the key word. So basically, go back to Genesis. He told the man and the woman to deal with each other kindly, you know, become one flesh. He told the man and the woman, you know, to be of one mind, one body, and, you know, be his help me, all that good stuff, right? And Cain slew Abel. He was jealous. Most of said, if you do not write, you know, same crosses at the door. So it tells us to deal right with each other. So if you can't deal right with each other, then how are you gonna deal right with the most high? It's kind of how I really want to hone in on dealing right with each other. Because we spread we could spread hatred potentially, we could spread wickedness potentially by doing all of this stuff. And we, it really starts at home. So when I say inside, you know it's that love your as yourself. How do you love yourself is a question you can ask yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself, how do you love yourself is the question you can ask yourself. So it says Malachi do not treacherously. How do you do a treacherous? A thousand ways to do a treacherous. So uh, it's a great importance, I feel, from like I said, I did all this studying, and I'm like, let's really, really hone in on, shake his hand, you know, let's, let's do good. So that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody got something from that? Who did not get anything from that? Because, you know, it's funny how things, not funny, I try to get away from these words. Did, did they disrespect Yah? And everything he just said, and kind of like, it kind of just came together. You know, like, it came together. Did they disrespect Yah? Dang, dang. They did. Dang. They were disobedient. What'd you say? I said disobedient. Hmm. Okay. okay. Did they disrespect themselves? They deal they, they treacherously with Yah. Okay. How? Two. Yes, something he said that was key. He said when you deal with who? Each other. Each other. Yeah. So a lot of what happened to them is how they dealt with each other. See, and you may miss this, you know. I think I came in and I told you, you know, namaste, you know, bow, you bow to the divinity to each person that you meet. It's something within that person that's a reflection of the creator, whether you, you immediately see it or not. So if you understand or have that concept that 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 isness, that yadis that's within a being that you meet, some might say a bum or a rich man or whatever. It may change the way you deal with that person. You follow me? Because what you do to others, you're doing to yourself. I mean, it's an old adage, but I mean, it's it's more than that. I'm trying to not going to harp on it, but just 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 meditate on some of this stuff. You know, I always say when we come here, what you call a memory or a teacher is a learner as well. What you call a student is a teacher as well. That's a paradox. Well, they're sitting there, they're learning. Yeah, they're teaching too. How they're, they're, they're grasping the information, how somebody's delivering the information. It's a codependency. Without you, where, where, what's some more right? Y'all follow? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nuggets. Shabbat is full of nuggets. Tell that robot. 
Anyone else before I wrap it up? Come on. Somebody hit me with something, you know. I like to use Yeah. Back. That's being conscious 
of being conscious. Oh, if Mala more Malaki was here, he would say, be mindful. Be mindful of each other. Be mindful of things that's happening around you. Um, and, you know, it's good to have a prayer or a mantra, some would say, a prayer or a mantra, that when you catch yourself, you bring yourself back. I, <laughs> I always say when we share with each other, it's for the sharer. It's for the sharer, but that's who experienced it. Everybody understand what I'm saying? That's experiential. So regardless of what everybody, oh, I don't believe that. It don't matter what you believe. That's experiential. And for everyone else, it's inspiration. Uh, you know, the church would say it's a testimony to encourage others that listen. If you trust in the Creator, if you trust in the Most High, this too or something similar can happen to you and for you. Understand what I'm saying? And um, something as simple as traffic. I'm just giving this, this last scenario. I've sat in traffic where I had to be at work at 6 o'clock. And where I was at, in the traffic, I got pictures of my phone. In the traffic, it was about 545. I should not have made it to Norfolk. The, the, the naval base. And I kept saying, it's not what it seems. That things are always working out for me. Through y'all, things are always working out for me. It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems. And in the back, you might, if this works, man, I'm man, <laughs> So you, you, you have these moments, you know, pride, you know, whatever the case may be. I got there on time. And I was just like, I let him go. Oh, this, it really, it's for me. I'm sharing it with you. Like, man, it's just traffic. That happens to anybody. But no, it's, Little things, like things that you think a little are bigger than what you what, what you think, and you ride the wave of these things. You stay in that state of consciousness, that you stay in the presence of the Creator. When something that you think is little, that you know nobody is really going to believe it, it's not for them. It's for you to strengthen your trust in the Creator, and with that that strength, you can use that to continue that state of consciousness to keep away from the separation. Because separation is an illusion that you create. He's giving you the power to create your reality, to make a side. Everybody following me? You, your state of mind, your environment is your state of mind. I can't watch those shows. They disturb me. Because I have a strong imagination. <laughs> If you're an artist, you have a strong imagination. You need to be mindful of your gates. What you see, hear, touch, taste, and all that. Because when you go to sleep, you start creating in your mind. And then when you start going out into the world, things will start happening before you. This is the things that Yah has given each man, every man. That's why I don't go along with the, well, the curses. and, and We're not all here. We didn't all come here based on... The, 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 the curse of captivity. Some of us was already here. Some of us came on those ships as, as coming to the new world. Do y'all know that? We came, some of us came as free men because all of Israel didn't go into bondage. We ceased as, to be a nation. So we went amongst other nations. So if somebody's hum drumming and beating that drum, that's where they're at. But I'm here to tell you, we come from different parts of the said curse. Some of us came here, some of us are prosperous, some of us are not. But guess what? It's paid, it starts here. Rosh, Roshit, in the head of things, in the beginning. That's where it starts, in the mind. So be mindful. Especially of what you're thinking, what you're saying, and what you're doing. And how you treat one another. For when I see you, I see myself. I don't know how you see me, but when I see you, I see myself. And I know based on how I got a lot of work to do. If you, you know, I have a lot of work to do. Everybody following me? So, Hallel Yah, to the Holy One of Israel, the creator again of <laughs> everything, all things, whatever your imagination is, whatever comes to you, it's nothing that escapes his, his eyes because you are a part of his eyes. Your deepest thoughts, he sees. 
paradox. Nothing new under the sun. <laughs> anyway, did everybody come clear? Okay. Did everybody come clear? Okay. Is there anything that you might have forgotten to do before you came here that might be on your mind? If it's yes, say yes. I'll give you the opportunity to walk out and clear, clear your mind a little bit more. All right? Is there anything that you're supposed to be doing that might be on your mind? Oh, man. What time is the sunset? I got to hurry up and... X, 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 X. Be present. Be totally and completely present. Enjoying in their ruach, their flows. Because in it, it's a rejuvenation of the soul, the ruach, to get you through the week. Come on. We're here to help each other be mindful. Okay? Yeah. Did you bring your writing utensil? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Did you bring something to write on? Yeah. Did you bring your questioning attitude? Yeah. Your questioning mind? Yeah. We're not here to tell you something, but you be like, oh, Maury said it. Oh, Maury said it. No. No, no. But you're my Maury. <laughs> you're my Maury. Okay. Everybody following me? Everything that's said, you know, um, take heed. Take heed, but don't take my word. Do your research, do your study, do your prayer, do your meditation, and so on and so forth. And let y'all guide you to where you need to be. Everybody following? I'm just a tool, just as you. We're just tools, we're just vessels. At the end of the day, I'm. Because Locke is a character that I create. Did everybody understand that? Did everybody understand that? Kazakia is a character that I created. And you, whatever you go by, that's a character you created. That's not you. That's the sum total of all your experiences from before or in the womb to now of your likes, dislikes, and so on and so forth, and that's what you go by. But there's more to you than that character. Right, follow me? I tend to lose people when I say stuff like that. All right. Yo, Dean, y'all good? Everybody else good? All right. Give a hand clap for the most high. Hallelujah. <laughs>